Today, I'm going to apply the Freestyle Libre sensor. To this patient here, Mr. John, he's 39 years old and he's recently become diabetic due to surgery. He's now going to, uh, going to monitor his sugar levels more accurately on a regular basis to keep track of his sugar levels and to be able to control his medicine intake and diet intake. I will be putting the Freestyle Libre sensor into his body and uh, he will be reading the Freestyle Libre sensor readings with this Freestyle Libre reader. So I am going to videograph this whole procedure and uh, you will be able to see how a Freestyle Libre sensor is applied. So Mr. John, he is correctly exposed for the procedure uh, and uh, I am going to start, uh, I am going to apply the sensor to his left arm. So continue to watch. So now we are going to open this box. This is the Freestyle Libre sensor. We are going to open this box. And when you open this, there is an instruction pamphlet. This is the applicator and the sensor is in this box. So keep those things aside. This is the applicator. We'll, we have to open these, both are sealed. So unscrew that applicator by twisting the lid in the anti-clockwise direction and you get the applicator here. So keep it here for a side. And now open this uh, box container which contains the Freestyle Libre sensor. It's like peeling off the lid of an ice cream bowl, small ice cream bowl. You peel it off and this is the Freestyle Libre sensor over here. Now in this sensor there is a mark here, there is a black mark, mark here and there is a slot here on this applicator. Watch that. Okay. There is a black mark here and there is a slot here. So you take this, this has got a spring action inside. Okay. So you take this, align this slot with this mark and push it. Okay. Before that, we need to clean the area where we are going to apply it with selenium and make it totally dry. It is also better to shower. So I have cleaned the area with sterilium and we will wipe it dry. I am applying it and the area is dry now. Now we are going to load the sensor onto the applicator. So I have once again I have taken the applicator, aligned the slot with this mark, it has got a spring action and now I am going to press the plunger into the sensor wait for three seconds and release it the sensor has been loaded onto the applicator you can see that there is a tiny needle over there you can see the tiny needle in profile there that's the needle and now it is ready to be applied to the arm uh, John uh, you have to apply this hmm. on a flat portion of your arm, okay. not on the bulgy portion here, not on the deltoid. Okay. So this is a flat, relatively flat portion. Take this uh, sensor, apply it against your body and now you will feel a small prick. Nothing to worry about. Okay. I am going to just plunge this, the needle of the sensor will penetrate. And that's it. Hold for three seconds. And that's it. Now the sensor has been applied to his body. Can you see that? The function of this plunger is over and we can discard it. This is useless now. Both are scrap. Close that. Put it in the box. And this can be disposed of. Next. We have to read this. Okay, John. After, 
after you have applied the sensor take your finger and run it along this sticky edge of this sensor so that it is firmly adherent to the skin okay next step next step is to activate this sensor the sensor is not yet active so that we are going to do by using this reader this is the freestyle libre reader you open the box it has got instruction pamphlets quick start guide read this you you, you are supposed to read this quick start guide before you use it so this is the freestyle libre sensor it has got a plastic here peel it off this is the on off switch and hopefully it should be charged otherwise we may have you may have to charge it press this button here it's charged it, it has woken up it's coming up and it is in english so we so we have option of several languages we choose english and we press okay so now the current it is you have to set the date by itself it has chosen 29th november 2022 next okay so press next and the time is current time is uh, we set call, the call, time call huh? we set the time 12 35 it is important to set the time because you want to know what readings are taken at what time so then we press next target glucose range we set it to between 70 and 180 so we set that to uh, 70 that's the time in target okay this is the international recommended range 70 mg per 100 ml to 180 mg per 100 ml normal people with normal diet uh, it should not increase uh, beyond 180 so we set the target range between 70 and 180 so it was now it's coming to 70 and the upper one you set it to 180 So 180. This is the target range, and most this is the most important measurement in um, glucose measurement. Your range is between 70 milligram, which is the lower. If it goes below 70, that means you are getting hypoglycemic, and above 180, that means you are shooting the target. Now you can press next. It will show you what your uh, whether the sugar level is rising rapidly. These are the various arrows: rising quickly, um, rising, changing. slowly uh, falling and failing falling quickly so okay done we are done now so now it says start new sensor and review history these are the two options when you get it you get when you start a new sensor so we are going to choose start new sensor by clicking on this button and then we will apply this reader to this sensor okay so we are going to it says here start new sensor scan sensor to start with now i am taking this and with this there was a beep and uh, this sensor has been activated this sensor has been activated okay and you can see here new sensor starting up sensor new sensor starting up sensor can be used in 60 minutes so then after that you click okay i have clicked okay so the time is 12:40 okay. after 60 minutes you can get the reading in this sensor so you have to wait in this reader so you have to wait for 60 minutes so you can put it back in the box after 60 minutes take this in your hand take this in your hand mm. and apply it here okay so it should be on 
before you apply it it should be on because it will tend to go to sleep okay. so you press this on button okay. it will it will wake up take it and it will read okay that's it right. so for now for 60 minutes you do nothing okay done so we we'll put so we can switch it off we, we don't we don't want to switch it off we will leave it on mm -hmm. right now because hopefully it is the charge is there battery is uh, not it's fully huh? it's there full full yeah. so the charge is still there and we can afford to leave it on we we'll put it back in the box and he will read take his glucose readings after 16 minutes put everything back in the box and that's it so we have applied the freestyle libre sensor and activated the sensor with this reader and the patient will be able to get the sugar readings by himself on a regular basis this method of re recording your glucose is called flash glucose monitoring flash means from time to time you know the flashlight in photography when you press the button you get the flash flash so this method is called flash glucose monitoring because you have to take the reader to the sensor to get a glucose reading an advanced form of this is called continuous glucose monitoring and the continuous glucose monitoring is done with devices called nfc to bluetooth devices one of them is in, available in india is called the bluecon night trader that's a separate device which has to one one has to purchase that goes over the freestyle libre sensor and for that you don't have to scan okay. so or that you will get the readings directly in your phone without having to take the sensor to the arm so that is called continuous glucose monitoring so since is the first time that he is using it he let him get familiar with the flash glucose reading he will work on it and then when he is comfortable i will educate him about the utility of continuous glucose monitoring devices they can be used in your phone the phone which is recording or in your smart watch one of them available in india is called the bluecon night trader others are also available uh, miao miao and tumble or something else so other devices are also available one can use them you don't you don't have to carry this reader with you all the time you carry your phone with you all the time and you carry your smart watch with you all the time so you can use those that's it now that you have watched how a freestyle libre sensor is available you may want to try it particularly if you are a type 1 diabetic then you may want to keep a track of uh, your sugar more accurately because um, type 1 diabetics are usually young children but sometimes um, even older people can become type 1 diabetics this sensor will give you a snapshot of your sugar levels at any time of the day and it will allow you to take decisions about the timing of your medicine food intake keeping your glucose levels under control by uh, regulating your food intake and by adjustment of the doses of medicines will help uh, your overall health to improve controlling blood sugar has got a tremendous benefit on your heart health brain health it will improve you to reduce weight and if you are obese and if you are suffering from joint problems the severity of your joint problems will come down you can get a joint biologic injection done for your uh, achy knees like uh, uh, prp or svf and then probably postpone a knee replacement if you found the information in this video valuable then give it a thumbs up share it with uh, relatives or friends who may be suffering from diabetes subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications when i upload videos like this in future see you in the next video cheers